a fantastic performance overall. This game wasn't just the return of Pogba, it was the return of Manchester United. The scoreline might not suggest that. 2-0, you know, it's a solid win, nothing special. The play is what suggested it. Counter-attacking football, lightning quick passing, movement, fluidity. Just everyone seemed to be on the same wavelength and it was just fantastic. There was skill moves, there was fantastic take-ons, there was brilliant runs. A fantastic Zlatan header. Like, th this game was just terrific. A very solid defensive performance as well. Options on the bench that came on. That is our strongest bench, I think, that we've had in a decade as well, which is another positive. We have depth. Everything is just a feel-good factor at Man United at the minute. And, uh, yeah, obviously Pogba's reintroduction to the team, his second debut for Manchester United. And what a debut it was. First 10 seconds, yeah, he mis misplaces a pass. Other than that, he was fantastic. He probably t took on more players than half of our team did last season like, in this one game. He probably did. Like, he was taking on so many players. He was winning the uh, possession. He's the centre midfielder that we've missed. And yes, we sold him and we got him back. But to be honest, I'm glad we did because he's played against, uh, sorry, alongside world-class midfielders for Juventus. It's definitely helped him improve and now he is one of the best midfielders in the world and I'm so happy that he's back in this team he's exactly what we've missed a midfielder who can do the lot a box-to-box -box midfielder he works hard he's strong he can win uh, tackles he can intercept he can link up the play he's a good dribbler good finisher you know he's just got the lot and he was fantastic in this game the only thing that didn't top up the performance was a goal he had I think three shots one was early on, it, it was just a, a shot on target, like an average shot. Second one was a header from a corner just over. And the third one right at the end when he powered in in the 90th minute, 60 yards he ran to get this ball from Mikatarian, who was subbed on, who did very well in his 15 minutes. So uh, I want to see him starting because he, he made some brilliant uh, like touches, dribbles and just linking the plate. But anyway, yeah, just wide from Pogba. But uh, let, let's go, go through the goals. So... First one, Rooney's allowed into the corner flag. So much time. Like, no Southampton players close him down. I'm not sure why, but, you know, I'm not going to complain. He picks off a lovely ball into Zlatan Ibrahimovic. And what a header. Like, this guy, people said he couldn't do it in the Premier League. He's beat Wes Morgan to a header. He was one of the better defenders last season. I don't know who he's up against this game. He's scored against Bournemouth. You know, this is 4-3 in three now in competitive games. That is right, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that is it. It's four in three for Zlatan Ibrahimovic. And he scored that overhead kick in a friendly as well. So he scored five for Manchester United so far, four competitively. And um, yeah, a sublime header. Other than that, there wasn't too many chances in the first half. A solid enough performance. Southampton had a half chance, I think, with uh, Redmond, but they didn't really take it, uh, luckily. And then in the second half, Southampton got an offside goal really early on. Uh, into the second half, but it was brilliant line, a brilliant defensive line for Manchester United. Tadic offside, right call, and then a penalty, a stupid, stupid foul from Classy, who wouldn't have been on the pitch if uh, Romelu didn't get injured really, really early on for Southampton. That was a little bit unlucky, but um, yeah, Classy, terrible foul on Luke Shaw, brings him down. Zlatan Ibrahimovic taking the penalty, he's not going to miss. Bottom left, two goals for Zlatan this game, and he could have got a hat trick. About 10, 15 minutes later, sublime football. Pogba picks up the ball, dribbles past a few players, uh, brings it out to the wing. I think it's Valencia. Takes on another player, crosses it in. Zlatan, he's got so much time. You think, there's his hat-trick. He mistimes his header. It doesn't go in, unfortunately. And then we have a couple more attacks. Again, Pogba is the instigator. He wins the ball back, dribbling past a couple of players. Manages to find Martial, who uh, bursts inside. But it's brilliant covering from, I think it might be Target or Fonte or Van Dijk, one of the Southampton defenders. And uh, Martial had another chance just after that. Brilliant play again, interlinking Mata, Valencia, Rooney, Pogba. Martial, unfortunately, didn't finish. Martial seems to have, uh, well... I suppose the issue surrounding Samantha, his wife, all that stuff, uh, is probably getting to him. Like, he, he just doesn't seem to be acting on instinct right now. And uh, I really think he needs a goal to boost his confidence. But maybe it's better just, you know, benching him for a little bit, let it, let his mindset return to football, um, and then, you know, bring him back into the team. And then hopefully, you know, he can produce what he was doing last season. That was the only slight issue I had. Two unsung heroes for United today, though. Fellaini, 
flawless, a flawless performance from Fellini. He really, really is adopting to that CDM role, where I thought would be the worst position for him, but Jose Mourinho has clearly had a, an effect on Fellini because he's doing very, very well. He didn't do anything wrong, no misplaced passes. His tackling was great. He was great in the air. We've got an aerial presence as well. We've scored, what, two, three headers already in the three uh, competitive games we've had. That's what Jose Mourinho likes. He likes his physicality. We've got Pogba now, Fellini actually looking like a player again. Ibrahimovic, Bailly, Smalling to come back into the team. We've got a lot of strong players, which is brilliant. Bailly, again, was exceptional. But the other unsung hero, Daily Blind, he was terrific. He was intercepting and he was... You could see he just knew when the attacks were going to happen and he stopped them. And when the attacks did go through for Southampton, Bailly was there to, to defend. Like, this is a solid partnership and no matter how good Chris Smalling was last season, he's going to have to do a lot to break into this uh, centre-back position. He came on right at the end uh, for Rooney, you know, Jose Mourinho closing out games. Nothing new there. Doesn't bother me uh, considering we're playing such a good brand of football at the minute. But yeah, it's nice to have these options. It's better having too many players than too little. And another positive, we've got all our transfer business done. Unless some players leave, then we bring in supplementary signings. We're done. Our fundamental signings are all here. And most other clubs aren't half done in the transfer window. So there's another positive. Six points out of six. I couldn't be happier. This has just been terrific. Hopefully it maintains. We've got a derby coming up very soon. So we're going to have to see what happens in that one. Pep Guardiola versus uh, Jose Mourinho. But for now, I am, oh, I'm just buzzing. Like, literally, it's Manchester United again. It is Manchester United back again. Finally, attacking football. Brilliant.